Step one is about picking the views that you want to use. First, I should explain what exactly a view in Android is. Simply put, a view is a rectangle on the screen that shows some content. It can be an image, a piece of text, or a button, or anything else that the app can display. Now these individual views make up what we call the layout of the screen. Everything about what you see and interact with in your app is called the user interface, or UI for short. There are different types of views with different names. A view that shows some text is called a text view. Here are some examples. A view that shows an image is called an image view, and these are some examples. A view that shows a button is called, well, a button, and these are some examples. Now there are many other types of views in Android which are really helpful to use, but we're going to focus on these three first. Earlier I mentioned that every view is a rectangle on the screen, but where are all the rectangles? Well technically they're invisible, but I will draw them for you so you can see where the bounds of each rectangle is. As you can see, every app can be broken down into the individual views that make it up. In other words, a view is the basic building block that you use to build up the layout for your app. To help you understand the idea of views being rectangles on the screen, here's a situation you may be more familiar with. If you ever use an application like Paint or Google Drawings, then you may have added a text box to the canvas. Then you type in your text. If you click outside of it, though, you don't see the bounds of the rectangle, but they are there. And the bounds actually do start to matter when you start to do things like adding a background color or adding a border around it, then it does matter how big the rectangle is. I also want to point out that the format of these view names is in camel case. Camel case means that there are no spaces in between words and the beginning of each word is capitalized. The reason why it's called camel case is because the outline of the word goes up and down like the humps of a camel's back. You're going to be seeing camel case more throughout this course. Okay, let's practice what you learned. This is a screenshot of the new email app from Google called Inbox. Can you identify the different types of views here? To help you, I've highlighted the individual views. For example, for A, can you tell me if it's a text view, an image view, or a button? Do the same for B, as well as the rest of the views.